Okay, so this is going to be a review of the teacher pleaser graph. So uh, this project is what we assigned towards the end of our graphing unit. Um, I've gone ahead and pre-made our graph paper ready to go, but if you are making this from scratch, follow the directions on how to number and how to set up your axis from the last video, uh, which was help with the graphing homework. But one thing you'll need to know is that the tallest this graph will get will be 22, the lowest will be negative 22, farthest to the right will be positive 18, farthest to the left will be negative 20. And this kind of graph paper that has the cardboard back is the perfect size. So for starters, we're going to start with this section and we'll, we're going to color code this in a kind of dark blue. So negative 12, 10. Remember, our first number tells us which way to go going left and right. Negatives left, positives right. Second number tells us up or down, positives up, negatives down. So we go 12 to the left and 10 up. 12 to the left and then 10 up. So that is right here. Put a check mark and we continue. Negative 12, or sorry, negative 11, 12. 11 to the left and 12 up. All right, we'll go ahead and connect those as we go. Don't just leave the dots and connect them later. Connect them as you go. Negative 8, positive 13. So we go 8 to the left and 13 up. All right. And then check mark, negative 5, positive 13. So we go 5 to the left and 13 up right here. Then we go, oop, forgot to put a check mark, negative 2, positive 12. So I will go tw 2 to the left and 12 up, 2 left. Sorry, that was a little loud, still at the school and they're making announcements. Anyways, negative 2, 12, 2 left, 12 up. That's right here. Okay, check mark. 1, 12, that will go, this one will go to the right and up because now our first number is positive. So we go to the right by 1 and 12 up. So this one is going to cross over this line. Good. After that is 3, 13, so we go 3 to the right, 13 up. And that will be right here. So our line is going to be kind of wavy. And we have 5, 15, so 5 to the side and 15 up. And then last for this sequence is 7, 16. So we go 7 to the right and 16 up. And then we connect those. And that's it for this section. Now I'm going to do this other section and this one and then this one and the rest will be up to you. Okay? So I'm only going to leave you this one long unbroken section afterwards. So this next mediumly long section I'm going to do in, we're going to go ahead and use uh, pink for this one. So we've got 1, 12. So 1 to the right and 12 up, but we already have that coordinate. So we're just going to draw it again. Put a check mark, and I forgot I'm going to color code this section all pink. You should be doing all of this in pencil, however. You can go back over and trace these lines later, but the first time you do a graphing assignment, do it in pencil in case you make a mistake. 0, 016 is not down here. A lot of students keep putting it down here. This is 16, 0. 0, 016 doesn't go left or right. It goes straight up to 16. For this graphing assignment, none of these lines should be particularly long. If you are doing this assignment and any of these lines that you are drawing are longer than your pencil, then you are making a big mistake. Matter of fact, if any of them are longer than your pointer finger, then you're making a mistake. After 016 is 018. So again, no left, no right, just straight up to 18. Connect those dots. And then 120, so 1 to the right, 20 up, and that will be right here. 
kind of diagonal. After that is 122, so we go 1 to the right and 22 up. 1 to the right and 22 up. Okay? After that is negative 1, 21. So we go 1 to the left and 21 up. And we'll connect these. Next up is negative 2, 18, so we will go 2 to the left and 18 up. 18 up, there we go. We'll connect these. Negative 2, 14, so we will go 2 to the left and 14 up. 2 to the left and 14 up. So straight down from here. After that, Last one in this sequence is negative 1, 12. So negative 1, positive 12. A small mistake students sometimes make is they will reconnect it back down here at positive 1, 12. But it is actually at negative 1, 12. And that's it for this sequence. This next smaller sequence I'm going to do in purple. And this one is just three points, and two of them we've already done before, I believe. This one is at 121, so I guess this one is actually new, so one to the right and 21 up. It's gonna be right here. Then we have 020, which is gonna be zero left or right and 20 straight up. So one right there, let's connect those. And then negative 121, which this coordinate we already have. Just color it again and connect. Okay, so we are done with this sequence. One more sequence and then the rest is going to be up to you, which is a good thing because a lot of students, their mistakes happen right here. So this next section I'm going to do in red. So in this red section, we start at 10, 8. So we go 10 to the right and 8 up. This is where things tend to fall apart, so pay very careful attention here. 10 to the right and 8 up is going to be right here. Okay, so that's this one. Next is 12, 3. So we go 12 to the right and then 3 up. So again, not a very long line. This next part, people sometimes get wrong. 12, negative 1. So that's going to be 12 to the right and then negative 1. So it's going to be right here. I see all the time people get to this part and they accidentally put their point back up here or over here. Okay? Be very careful and make sure you're not doing that. Remember, none of these points should be longer than your finger. So if you try to connect all the way back here, a red flag should go up in your head that that is not right. After that, you'll see this next point is also going to be to the right and then down. 11 to the right and 4 down. And 4 down, so right here. There we go. Okay. After that is 7, negative 5, so we will go 7 to the right and then 5 down. Okay. Now we will do 8, negative 2, so 8 to the right and 2 down, right here. Next is 8, 0, so we will go 8 to the right, but we will not go up or down, because this time the second number is 0. So 8 to the right, but not up or down. So this point, a lot of students accidentally put over here. No, no, should be really close. After that is 7, 4, so back to positive, positive. So we go to the right and then up, right here. We'll connect those two. Then we have 5, 6, so 5 to the right and 6 up, right here. And the last one of this sequence is 10, 8, which is where we started. So we redraw and reconnect. Okay. And that's it for this sequence. There is only one long unbroken chain that is going to be after this. 
And some of you can start to already kind of tell what shape this might form. So just so that way it's not a spoiler, if you don't want to know what this is a picture of, go ahead and end the video here. For those of you who do want to know what this is going to be a picture of, you can stay. This is going to be an apple. Very specifically, this is not the top of the apple. This is like a shiny piece of like the top of the apple, like the crease that's at the top. But the top is actually going to be like somewhere up here. Okay? And this, this is just like that shiny piece of the apple. Uh, this is like a red delicious apple. So uh, that is all that I am going to show you of this. This whole piece is one unbroken line. And it's going to start at 0, 016, which is already on the graph. 0, 016 is this point right here. So that right there is where this is going to start. It's going to start right here. So that is it. Uh, for those of you who did have this assigned to you in class, this is going to be due at the end of the weekend. Uh, if uh, either myself or your other teacher did not assign this, you are going to have a little bit more time. And if you're just watching this because you're a student in general looking for help on a graphing assignment, just follow the instructions of whatever your teacher told you. But that is going to be it for today. I hope this helps and good luck.